I love Rudius Grey Rat as a character. Now, that statement might be a little bit controversial, but I need to explain my reasoning for this. I can respect when a character is well written, even if they are an unlikable piece of shit. Rudius is the perfect example of that to me. Rudius, at the beginning of the series, is still in his gross, perverted mindset from his old life. He treats all the women around him like sexual objects for his desires, but as we get further into the series and he meets strong women who he looks up to and respects, he starts to really grow and change that side of himself. It never fully goes away, but as time goes on, those scenes happen less often. Rudius's character is one of the most well-written protagonists that I have seen in anime in a long time. I totally understand if you can't sit through the series because of how Rudius is at the beginning of the story, but if you do decide to sit through this series, you will be rewarded with what is one of the most mature characters who goes through one of the greatest arcs you see in a character. Rudius throughout the series is trying to live his life to the fullest and find meaning in his new life. He wants to change who he was before and make a better life for him and the people he cares about. One of my favorite scenes throughout the series that conveys Rudius's growth as a character is when he confronts his father after coming back from the demon continent. At first, he hates his father. I mean, how could his father treat him that way when he risked his life just trying to survive and get home safely? But as we get further into the interaction, Rudius starts to understand his father and his perspective. As Rudius was going on this grand adventure where he got to visit some amazing places and meet some amazing people, his father was out searching for his family, Rudius included. So when Rudius comes back unscathed and talking about this grand adventure he went on, his father gets angry at him for not searching for him and his family during that time. As Rudius comes to understand his father and as his father finds the resolve to apologize, they make up in an extremely heartwarming scene that only really works because of all the setup we have gotten from their relationship that was set up all the way at the beginning of the series. Rudius is one of those characters that you find yourself being utterly surprised by as you get further into the series. Rudius is set up to be this unlikable piece of shit only for him to make this major comeback and become a really likable person. Relationships are the cornerstone of Rudis' character development. If it wasn't for the people he met along the way, he would still be that perverted asshole of a kid he was at the beginning of the series. Rudis' first big change comes after he meets Roxy, his magic tutor, and someone who he highly respects. Rudis learns a lot from Roxy, and not just about magic. Through Roxy, Rudis starts to open up and learn more about the world. Because of Roxy, Rudis gains the courage to go outside and face his fears. It's because of Roxy that Rudis goes through his first major change as a character, as he slowly starts to appreciate the world and this life he was given. Sophie, as a person, and didn't teach Rudius much, but Sylphie did something that no one else in Rudius' life or previous life had done before, and that's that she became his friend. Sylphie being Rudius' friend helped Rudius to open up more, and because she is a different race as well, she helped Rudius discover the hardships of the world and helped him learn that he needs to be brave and confront people if he wants to protect those he cares about. Now, those relationships were very important to Rudius' development as a person for sure. They were two people who, that threw him on the right path. However, there are two more people that brought his character to new levels and made his character development absolutely insane. Rudius Rudyard is the person that taught Rudius about empathy and being a good person in general. Rudyard showed Rudius that it's okay to stand up to people if they hurt people you care about, but you should never go too far and you should never use someone for your own selfish desires just because it's the easiest way to achieve your goal. Rudyard made sure that Rudius would continue down the right path even when their journey was over by making sure Rudius learned the right set of morals to have. Eris. Oh man, Eris. Where do I even begin? When we were first introduced to Eris, she was an arrogant snot-nosed brat who thinks she's good at everything, but as she meets Rudius and sees him in action, so she slowly starts to realize she still has a lot to learn, which makes her grow to respect Rudius, but also gives her a massive inferiority complex that she struggles with throughout the rest of the series. Eris manages to change Rudius in more ways than I feel like any other character in the show ever did. All the other characters were only there to put Rudius on the right path to redemption, but it was through Eris that Rudius first learned about love. It was through Eris that Rudius first learned that not everyone he cares about needs his protection. The bond between Rudius and Eris starts off as a more familial bond. They feel a lot like siblings, with Rudius looking after his sister. Their relationship slowly starts to change as they start traveling together. As Rudius is coming up with plans and doing all the big talking, Eris is practicing the sword, trying to do whatever she can to contribute to the team. Even after all this practice, however, after one small power up from Rudius, he beats her hands down, flat. And this strikes a change in both characters. Rudius learns that Eris is trying her best to catch up to him, and he made her feel like all her progress amounted to nothing. The biggest thing that Rudius takes away from Eris is that he learns that sometimes it's best to leave things as they are because it could come back to bite you later. He learns that he doesn't have to take all the burden upon himself and that he can rely on others to have his back and be there for him. It was a hard lesson for Rudius to learn because throughout his previous life, he never had anyone he felt he could rely on.
Reduce's backstory is amazing. Sure, it isn't anything over the top or unique in any way, but the reason that I love his backstory is because of the way they implemented it into the story. They use his backstory not so much as a way to tell us who he was before, but as a way to show us how far he's come and how far he still needs to go. His backstory shows off all of his shortcomings and shows us how he got to where he is at the beginning of the story. At the beginning, we see Rudius as nothing more than a loser neat. I remember the turning point for me starting to like his character, and that was when we got the first glimpse of his backstory when he first starts to go outside. He was so terrified that people will bully and belittle him that they will strip him naked and do all kinds of horrible things to him. This is his first obstacle he has to overcome as a character, and it is his first step into becoming the person he needs to be. All of the times they show off his backstory are in ways like this that show us where he was at one point and where he still needs to go. They always show us one thing that he needs to overcome on his journey of redemption. Most isekai have the overpowered protagonist thing going on. Mushiku Tensei does as well. The only difference is that Rudius earns all the power and skill that he has by putting in a lot of work to achieve all of that. He doesn't just learn magic overnight or learn how to speak a new language in a day. He puts in years of studying and practice to learn all of these skills and master them. They don't just hand Rudius a new power and he can use it right away. Even if they do pull a new power out of their ass, it still takes Rudius time to learn and master that ability. Just makes you really appreciate the times when he does get to show off how strong he is because it lets you see that all the effort he did didn't go to waste. But at the same time, they also show that he starts to get a little bit cocky because he's so strong, so they have some moments that really test Rudius throughout the series, and then they run into their biggest threat yet, the dragon god Orsted. He shows Rudius that despite all of his effort to get strong to protect those he loves, he still has so much further to go to be able to protect everyone from even the greatest of threats. This scene provides amazing development for all of the characters involved, and Rudius is no exception. This scene humbles him. His confidence in his strength is gone after this scene, and he is forced to confront himself again and overcome this moment, and when he does, it makes for some amazing development. I love how Mushoku Tensei goes out of its way to show that Rudius is strong, but that he still has so far to go if he wants to protect everyone he cares about. There is so much to be said about Rudius as a person. He is an extremely mature person who uses all of his hardships to his advantage and learns from them. He makes sure to never make the same mistake twice because he knows all the bad things that can happen if he does. Rudius still has a long way to go on his journey, but he has been set up by all the right people to go down the right path, making his journey of redemption super amazing. I can completely understand if you don't like Rudius, and I can totally see why you might not be able to sit through the beginning of Mushoku Tensei, but the thing about this series is that you're not supposed to like Rudius at first, and that honestly just makes his character and his that much better.